This match starts at 112. Brandon Logan of Kittatinny with a takedown as EB Chain risk of Newton 6 to 3 to make a 3 0 Kittatinny. 119 we go. Stephen Churchill of Newton ties the match at 3 with a 3 1 decision over Kittatinny's Derek Popkick. 135, Nick Romines of Kittatinny with the back points on his way to a 9 4 win over Evan Loveland of Newton to make it 6 3 Kittatinny. It helps me a lot. Now, you know, I felt great. I felt good coming out. I was very happy with how I did, you know. And I have to say, you know, I've had matches where I've come out a little sloppy, but I felt with this one, I definitely wrestled the full six minutes. 130, Derek Conrad of Kittatinny with a takedown. He won 5 0 over Tamuel, Samuel Siegel of Newton to make it 9 3 Kittatinny, leading Newton. On to 135, Garrett Scrivani of Kittatinny with the back points. He won a major over Eric Saar of Newton to make it 13-3, Kittatinny. When I was warming up, I overheard Gil and Butler arguing a little bit, so I had a feeling that it was going to be iffy whether I was going to wrestle him or not. But I knew that if I wasn't going to wrestle him, I couldn't lose my head. I had to go out there and do what the team needed to get done. And hopefully I'll see him in the finals of the tournament coming up this weekend. 140. In 118, John Risk of Newton gets his team six points with a fall over Joe Maid of Kittatinny. 17 9, Newton trails. 145, Kittatinny gets that six points right back as Matt Parkin of Kittatinny beats Nico Sorello of Newton. It's now 19 9, Kittatinny, the pin right there. I just had to stay mentally focused, and Robin Ball really helping me get down to the 140 pound weight class, 145 weight class that I needed to be at and I just came out there and did what I did with the support of my fans and the team behind me. There's, there's no way I could have lost. It, it, was, it was just great. 152, it takes Clark Moynihan of KT less than a minute to get the fall over Muhammad Bob Newton to make it 25 to 9 Kittatinny. 160 we go. Newton's Jake Connolly with the reversal. He beat Kieran Geerty 6-4. It's now 25-12. Kittatinny. On to 171. Peter Klimek of Kittatinny with a takedown. On his way to a 4-0 decision over Kevin Kitchen of Newton to make it 28-12. Kittatinny leads. 189. Kittatinny's Matt Simpson gets the fall in less than a minute over Nick Paparella to make the team score 34-12. 215 early second period pin for Victor Ramos of Newton over Jacob Drellick to make it 34 to 18 Kittatinny. Heavyweight Evan Krustick gets the back points on his way to a 6 2 win to make it 34 to 21 Kittatinny. And the bout ends at 103. Nick West of Kittatinny gets a 5 0 decision over Ashley Isla for Newton. The final score a big win for Kittatinny over Newton 37 to 21. Absolutely. For me, it's it's, it's great just to come back and finally beat them, finally be on top of them. It's, there's no better feeling in the world. There's, it's just great to be able to beat them after four years, and especially last year of a tough loss, to come back and really put a statement on them. Nothing better. It was pretty exciting. You know, it's definitely a new experience, and I was just really pumped up, ready for the match, hoping we'd just, you know, go out there and give it our all, all of us, you know. I was really just pumped. It means a lot. I mean, uh, freshman year, it was the infamous Hobie Wanamaker reversal in the last seconds of the match to beat him, but since then we haven't beat him. And, uh, I mean, being a senior leader this year, I think I had a lot to do with getting these guys motivated tonight. Uh, having them, letting them know what they needed to do to win the match, and everybody went out there and did their job, and we came out on top. It was just a wonderful feeling. Uh, a great, it's the best of high school sports. Uh, you know, we're five miles apart. They've gotten the better hand of us for two years in a row. They like I'm like four. They beat us four times in a row in the last two years. So it was nice to come back. You know, we had the talent. We had some great efforts. I, I had some great efforts from kids that lost. I had sometimes better efforts from kids that lost than kids that won, and I'm so proud of them. Uh, it's just a, a good feeling. Uh, you know, stands were you know pretty well filled. There's a, a snow threat, but the kids came out. People came out, and it's fun. The kids were fine. I feel bad for Newton. You know, coach say all say sorry somebody had to lose, but uh, you know we came out on top. Effort, excellent effort by a lot of my kids, and I'm very proud of them. Talk about the leadership of your team. Your seniors really came up big in this match. And how have they helped you so far this young season? Well, uh, they've really, you know, been like inspirational, you know, like a role model. I followed them and they always, you know, talk to us, look out for us. You know, they've been they've been really helpful and you know 
helping me out as a freshman, you know, getting me into things, you know, they've been really good. Right off the bat, a senior on 12, I mean, you know, it's you, you would hope if you got a 12 pounder that's, you know, a senior, they should have some maturity and some, you know, some toughness. And so Brandon Logan, what a, what a place to start. It's just a wonderful place to start, and he did a great job. Uh, you know, uh, it's Matt Simpson, uh, it's funny, we talk about a wrestling god sometimes. A year ago, he was a GOAT. He's winning 7-5 30 seconds ago. If he wins, we win uh, against Newton. Uh, he gets pinned with four seconds left. And uh, this, a year later, he seals the match for us. After he, after he pins, uh, we, can't, we can't lose. So uh, you go from being a GOAT to a hero. And, you know, I'm happy for him, happy for him. He did a great job. Matt Parkins, kind of a, you know, not a big name in our lineup and, and got some momentum going. And, and uh, you know, so I, I'm really happy, you know, very happy. I'm talking about the freshmen. Uh, you know, a great match from, from Nick Romines, Nick West with another big win, and Kieran Garrity, who did a fantastic job against Jay Connell. Uh, the, the freshmen are maturing nicely. Uh, you know, you wouldn't look at them and think that, uh, you know, they're 14 years old. You know, so Nick Romines has, has been coming and coming. He's, he's got to open up a little more, needs a little more confidence. Garrity, if that doesn't give him confidence, to, uh, that he can stay with some of the best in the area. Uh, you know, Connolly is, is just a quality kid. So, uh, and, and Nikki West, uh, you know, I, I, I don't like forfeiting. I didn't have to do that match. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I felt it's the right thing to do. I got kids who practice every day and let's go run. She practices every day too. So it was a great match. And uh, I'm proud of those, those seniors, or I mean, those freshmen. And talking about Coach Gillett actually used uh, the phrase, you know, we need to get started with our season, really targeting this Newton match as your starting point for the season. What does this mean for you and your teammates now? Oh, absolutely. For our team, this is just this is just a starting point as we know what we can do, we know what we can accomplish, and there's no other team out there that there's we can't be. There's no one else out there. I think this match is exactly what we needed. Uh, a lot of the kids, we didn't wrestle too swell against uh, Hopakong. So this was a big confidence booster for everyone. Everyone wrestled tough matches. Everyone gave 100%. And I think this is just what we needed to get us back on track for a great season. And talking about the 100 and more in Sussex tournament and what that means to you guys here in the second year of the tournament. Um, we like to get a title. I mean, this year High Point's not going to be there. So it's not going to be a competition for second place. Uh, I mean, if everybody goes out and performs like they did tonight, I think we have a shot at it. So we're all looking forward. We're going to be training hard in the next couple of days. Jeez, you got to think Hunter and Central, Hackettstown, us. I mean, I don't want to, I, I'm not dissing Delaware Valley, haven't seen them, but, uh, you know, you take away High Point, and I think four or five teams ought to be saying, you know, let's, let's see what we can do. And, you know, we, I don't know if I'm a tournament team or not, uh, but, you know, let's see how we've matured since Caldwell and see how we've gotten as, as a tournament team.